I'm Col Hi everybody, I'm hey, Colin Watts great. from the core team and just wanted to give a brief overview of some new extensions in Civi Serum. Um, you may have come across these already or they may be new to you, but if you um, if you go to your um, uh, system settings extensions, you'll actually see that um, there are some extensions that are now shipped with Civi Serum. They're just there um, that you can enable. Um, so one of them is called Form Builder um, or AFORM is our, our cute little acronym for it. Um, and another one is called Search Kit. And if you enable them, then you'll get these, um, these new things in Civi Serum. So one is in the search menu, you'll find Search Kit. So let's just take a look at that and see what it can do. Um, using the, um, I happen to be demoing this with the Shortage theme enabled, but there are other themes that you can use and Civi Serum now ships with one which will make this look um, pretty good just without having to use any extra themes or anything. So I'm going to click on new search here and just show you a couple of things. One is that you can search for lots of stuff. Um, and when we talk about a search, we're talking about generally getting data out of Civi Serum, something that also you may have come across the term reports or views or advanced search or search builder. This kind of rolls all of that into one uh, drag and drop package. So if you wanted to search for your members, for example, this is, this is new as of the release that's about to go out next week is being able to search for members. That was a, that was a slog, but we, um, you can search for your membership. Sorry, Coleman, your audio just went out. Okay, here I am. So one thing that's new is being able to search for memberships in Civi Serum. And so let me, let me just show that real quick. Uh, so say you have a member database and you want to be able to pull in um, information about your members. So there's this- uh, Excuse me, I have the box saying this meeting is being recorded. The pop-up. Yes. Can you yes, delete it, that? Oh, that's not, um, you're not seeing my screen? Well, I'm seeing your screen, but I also- Click okay on that box. Oh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> okay. That'll be recorded for posterity. So um, if, you're, if you're wanting to find members in Civi Serum, um, you could do it through advanced search or there's some new advanced- Sorry, the audio went out again, Coleman. You know, sometimes Zoom doesn't like Linux very much. I'm just gonna try and keep this, keep appraised of this. I'm gonna- change my window size a little bit so I can keep an eye on the um, keep an eye on the audio make sure that that's still going on okay hopefully that solves our problems can people still see search kit up here yes all good and the audio is great thank you okay wonderful um, thanks for bearing with me here so you can search for members, and um, this is this is one of many things you can search for, just about anything in Civi Serum. And as I was saying earlier, Search Kit kind of rolls um, reporting and uh, displaying, and um, even creating a profile directory, um, creating a um, creating an export, kind of rolls all that into one. So if you've got something that's more complicated than um, what Civi Serum typical screens, advanced search reports can do, um, or you just wanna play with some new functionality, which is uh, pretty cool. I encourage you to check out Search Kit because one of the most powerful things about this is being able to, this little with dropdown, I want to um, you know, require that we also have the contact who is part of this membership. And so just, Automatically, just adding these couple little fields, I'm going to have um, some actions I can take. I can like edit the membership right here on the 
search kit screen. Um, I can also do, yeah, it's a big form to load. I can also do um, some bulk actions. So I could choose a few of these and um, do an export, download as a spreadsheet, do a bulk update or bulk delete. Um, I can also, uh, these links all work to the contacts. And another thing that I can do is create a display which would be available to other users of this website or you know, myself in another context. So if you're familiar with views and Drupal, the displays in search kit are kind of similar is that it's just, it's a, it's a way of looking at the data on a page of your website or a dashboard dashlet um, or a, a search directory form. Um, so you wanna create a public listing of your members. Uh, you can do that now by um, unchecking this by bypassing permissions, you can make it publicly available on your website if you're comfortable with sharing all of this information. Let's keep permissions enabled for now because that's uh, that's something to think through before you do it, just to make sure that everything that's being displayed in this search is something that um, should be viewable to the public. So I can enable a pager actions, um, make it look the way that I want it to make, uh, look, show the, the count, it just enable all this stuff here. And save that. I'm gonna change a few things here. Uh, there's this field transformations where I can say I want the, uh, the membership start date. I really only care about the year. Um, Okay, we can add some filters where um, we just want we just want to look at uh, a certain membership type. Um, you know, just just general memberships, for example. And we can pull in more information. Um, take a look through these joins because you can pull in just about anything. You can, I mean, really anything. You can pull in the the contacts addresses or their emails or phone numbers. Um, you can pull in um, campaigns related to this membership, their tags, groups. Um, you can also, um, and this is pretty cool, pull in related contacts. So you could pull in information about the, um, the members and their children or parents or, or employers or any kind of um, relationships in your database. And then what you can do, somebody asked, what is um, Form Builder? So I'm just going to update my display here with the new stuff that I just added. Um, let's add in that start date. Um, don't care about the a, ID. Coleman, there was a quick question. If you can just go back one screen and show yes. the related contacts. Yes. And show us how that works. Yeah, absolutely. Um, sorry, what was the question? Just more information about that? Yeah, how to show the related contacts. Mm hmm okay. So, um, so once you add any new, um, like with what's called a join in, in query language, once you add that, you can add some conditions for like, I just want relations that are of this type I just want relationships that are active or relationships that have, um, you know, that are of this type of contact. You can add any of that. You know, like I just want individual relationships. And then in this, in these table headers here. So this is my membership fields. I'm going to collapse that, for example. Um, this is my um, contact fields for the, the member. And then these are the contact fields for the related contact that I just added in. And so anything that I want to know about this person, um, you know, their birth date, uh, gender, job, anything uh, about them, let's say their birth date. So now we've got two I The volume just adjusted again. 
Yep. Okay. So we've got their the birth date of the of the primary contact, birth date of the birth date of the relation related contact. We can pull all that in. There it is. So this is the the membership, the year of the membership, the name of the member, the name of their um, uh, relative, in this case, the child, um, their birth date, their child's birth date. This is all kind of nonsense demo data, so don't pay too close attention to what you're, you know, what you're getting back from the sample data. Um, okay, I just wanted to quickly show how this integrates with Form Builder. I'm going to save this, and right here in this little drop down where it says Forms, I can add one. And what that allows me to do is place this display somewhere on my website and let people interact with it by adjusting some filters that I might want to add. So I can put this form on the dashboard. Um, I can put it on the contact summary page. If it's that kind of form, I can put it on its own page. Um, so like I could, you know, create a link to it on my website that um, people with permission for it can visit and, you know, do pay attention to these permissions that you're setting up for who can view this page. If you want it to be a public directory, you can make it open access. Um, again, as long as the information is not, you know, is, is, is appropriate for the public. Um, and then over here on this tab, these are all the fields that I, um, these are some of the fields that I have available to search on which is pretty much everything. Um, so, you know, I could, I could do a birth date search here. I could do a, um, you know, sort name. And let's just save this and see what it does. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna, in a new tab here, go back uh, home to my Civi Serum home screen. And if all goes well, I was just demoing this to a very generous organization called Canada Helps yesterday who provided funding for SearchKit and encountered a bug during the demo, which should now be fixed. It always happens. Um, so I think I just called the page member search, which means I can drag it into here as a dashlet. Uh, yep, yep, I sure did. I'm gonna drag it over to this side. So this is the thing that I just created and it's now available as a dashlet because I checked that box that says this can be a dashlet. Um, and so, um, so I think, uh, yeah, so I just typed Niels in the search box, which filters me down to just the people with that in their name. Um, I could also say, I want to do this search for um, people who were born yesterday, uh, which is not gonna return any results, but you get the idea. There's, there's a lot of powerful um, filters available just out of the box, just from just clicking and dragging and dropping a few things. Also remember that we created a page, a standalone page for this form. Um, which is a handy link to right here. Uh, and you could add this link to the menu bar. And, you know, in Civi Serum, there's a way to configure this menu bar. It's under um, navigation menu here. You can, so you could add this link to the, to the navigation menu somewhere um, or add a link to it from your website. Um, and there's your member directory um, or the, you know, the member directory I configured in, in five minutes without thinking too hard about it. But, I, I hope you get the idea that you can, it's, it's, it's quite powerful and that you can configure it almost any way that you want, dragging in any fields that you want, any related entities, custom data, it's all available to you in SearchKit. So I hope you'll um, have a play with it, come up with your own tips and tricks to share at the next, um, at the next campfire chat. And uh, also always do the plug for um, chat.civiserum.org if you're not on there already. I assume you are if you found out about this fireside chat, but chat.cvcrm.org, there's a channel devoted to SearchKit um, and recommend that you uh, check out, you know, any questions that you have, just uh, feel free to 
type them into that channel and and someone me or someone else who uses search kit a lot will be happy to engage with you about it.